guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so before we get into today's video i just wanted to quickly mention that i am officially partnered here on youtube i got partnered two days ago i believe i hit the 1000 subscriber goal and the lofty 4000 watch hours a couple of days ago i applied and i got approved for partnership so it was really really exciting it's a huge huge milestone one which i really like didn't plan on making <laughs> when i started making these coloring uh book color adult coloring videos back in june i kind of just started doing it for fun and it's crazy that that many people have watched my videos and thank you so 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 much for being one of them it means the world to me like i said it's a huge milestone it's not about the adsense and like adding ads and all of that stuff that comes with partnership it's just about that that many people have enjoyed watching me enjoy my hobby so thank you so 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 much for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel it, it really does mean a lot to me. So, in today's video, it's kind of like a 2020 wrap-up video. I wanted to dive into my most used art supplies that I used in my coloring books of 2020. So I can once again kind of like compare to next year, look back and see, wow, you know, in 2020 I was using these or I was using this medium the most and now a year later I'm using this. So I just kind of want to keep track of like, you know my coloring journey and the things that I'm enjoying and what I'm using the most so that's what this video is gonna um, be I'm gonna kind of go through everything I would typically reach for to color a page and pick the thing that I reached for the most this year on my coloring pages so without further ado let's jump on into it all right so I decided I would start with the most 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 used thing this year for me which were colored pencils i reached for colored pencils in or on my pages definitely more than any other type of medium to color with this year i mean i would definitely say the majority but i would say alcohol markers was a close second probably um but i wanted to show share with you my most used colored pencils which would definitely have to be the prisma colors so I have the full set of Prismacolor Premieres, and these are them. I'm sure we all know and love these. For me, my options for colored pencils aren't vast. I know some some of us have, um, you know, every colored pencil all there on the market. I pretty much only have Prismacolors and polychromos um, as like my higher end pencils. For budget, I have Crayolas and then I have South Sun pencils. Um, but as far as overall, I definitely reached for my Prismas way more often than I reached for my polychromos, but every time I do use my polys, I'm like, I need to use these more. So I definitely think that might change in 2021. It might not. I know I definitely will use my polys more than I use them this year though they're just a little nicer a little fancier and I think that I was kind of like working my way up to using them but I'm super comfortable using them now and as far as the Prismacolors themselves <laughs> obviously my favorite pencil to use was the white I use the white uh, Prismacolor the most out of any pencil in the set because uh, I use it literally with anything any other set of pencils i'm using and then as far as the other my favorite colors to probably use were blues from this set and the range of yellows and reds so this section <laughs> and my blue section definitely got the most love uh from me this year so those are my most used colored pencils all right, next up I mentioned the second most uh, popular medium for me to choose to color my pages were with was alcohol markers. So I did acquire quite a few alcohol markers this year, but I found myself constantly reaching for the Cali Arts. So this was my first set of alcohol markers, and even once I progressed to getting other sets, I would still tend to reach for this set. Not exclusively this set but I would definitely pull colors from this set and I've been doing a lot of coloring over at my mom's house and I always bring my Cali Arts because it's in a nice 
compact. I believe this is the 80 set and it comes in this little pouch and it's just really easy to travel with. And my other set is I think 160 and I have it not travel friendly. It's sitting on my desk so I can't travel with those. That set is the Lemon Shame alcohol markers, which I do use. But like I said, I still end up pulling from my Cali Arts uh, occasionally. Uh, and like if I'm coloring out on the couch, like I use these. And like, I don't know, I just uh, reached for these the most out of any of the alcohol markers that I ended up getting this year. And I used my alcohol markers the most on like my Jade Summer books, Mandala books, any one single-sided book, I kind of tend to reach for alcohol markers. Um, not exclusively, there were a few books that I um, still used colored pencils, but this year in 2020, I really focused, I think there was a whole month where I pretty much only colored with alcohol markers. I watched a ton of tutorials on how to blend, how to use alcohol markers, and I really got into coloring with them this year. So um, like the Cali Art, like I said, were my choice. Even once I got my Lemma Shea markers, I was like, oh, I kind of missed my Cali Arts. So I don't know. Um, I would definitely recommend these. I'll have everything I'm talking about um, listed down below in the information box, a link to the um, Amazon if you want to pick these up for yourself. But yeah, I would definitely recommend the Cali Arts. They do come in bigger sizes. I just have the 80 set. I saw other people using these on YouTube, which is what inspired me to pick these up. And yeah, I can't really say much else about them. They were the um, fine nib and the broad uh, chisel tip. And I had no problem blending with these. The color range is pretty decent. I wouldn't mind having more because, you know, I just love options. <laughs> but um, like I said, I do have the 160 or 140 set of Lemmy Shades when I'm coloring at my desk, which is fine. Um, but I think I do still prefer the Cali Arts over the Lemmy Shades. So those were my most used alcohol markers. All right, next is my most used water-based medium. So I would say that I didn't reach for water-based products very often at all this year. Um, the streaking and the option to just use alcohol markers kind of always hindered me from reaching for watercolor product or um, water-based medium. But out of the water-based mediums that I do have, my super tips, my Crayola super tips, definitely were my favorite um, product, water-based product to use. I think these are so versatile. I used them as watercolor paint um, on a page this year. That was really fun, and I want to do that again. I use these in my Color by Number Disney books. Um, I think they're perfect for that. I'm sure you've all seen these. I have the 100... And 50 set so there's no shortage of colors they're amazing I also picked up the Stadler find uh, duo fine brush uh, tip pens they're water-based they're kind of like super tips I have those two but I still like I said still ended up reaching for my super tips the most this year so if you're looking for a good water-based marker for just some easy coloring if you're looking for something to do in your color by numbers or anything just like you know and I know sometimes that people don't mind the streaking so if that's the case these are amazing like I said you'll find every color you need um, and they're super super cheap and I love having them in this case ever since I put them in this case I use them even more so I definitely recommend if you're a colorist and you just have them in the yellow box the Crayola box that they come in and you don't find yourself reaching for them put them in a huge I think this is like 220 and I skip I skip a a little strap in between so there's like they're not super tight and they're easy to pull um, pull out and put back in I think you'll end up reaching for them even more um, that's that's how I found it anyways so yeah these are my most used water-based medium all right so when it comes to backgrounds and types of supplies I used for my pages uh, on the background, I definitely used pastel the most. Now, when I think about it, I feel like it was a tie, a tie between um, colored pencil, 
pastel and paint so I'll show you my paint option but I think I definitely used pastel backgrounds more than any other background this year and this is the first set of pastels I picked up um, when I first started getting adult, adult coloring I saw a lot of people doing pastel backgrounds so I really wanted to try them I didn't have any pastels I picked these up at Hobby Lobby and I kind of just always reached for this set the only other set I picked up this year was the Mungio soft pastels from Amazon and I haven't touched them so I can't say anything about those but I can say these pastels work really good um, it's a really nice selection it's 24 colors this is what they look like they're large um, large squares I know the Mungio ones are about half this size um, but there's more in that set but I found this set worked great for me I like I said I use them on multiple backgrounds this year on my pages I love pastel backgrounds they're fast they're simple they're beautiful excuse me they're beautiful and I like I said I can't say anything negative about these pastels um, definitely recommend them if you have a Hobby Lobby it's a craft store here um, I'm in California I don't know if they're in other states but if you have a Hobby Lobby definitely check these out it's the um, martyrs my miters touch I'm not sure I can't read cursive it's their in-house brand um, at Hobby Lobby so definitely check these out and yeah these pastels were definitely my most used product for backgrounds all right, next I'm gonna go ahead and show you my favorite things to embellish my pages with. Like I said, this whole, I'm literally going step by step of what I would use for my coloring pages. Um, so next we have my most used stickles. I didn't use stickles that much, but when I did, it was almost always the gold. So this just came in a three pack, so it doesn't have like a specific name. So I'm not sure which gold this is. It came in the pack with gold, silver, and like a clear one. But yeah, for stickles for me, this was always the one I picked. If I was going to put stickles on the page, it was this gold one this year, but I did pick up a few more. So I think that that's definitely going to change for 2021 of what my favorite, um, stickles shade is. The gold might not, might, might not stay the winner. So we'll have to see. So next we have another thing I used pretty often for backgrounds. If it wasn't a pastel background and it wasn't going to be colored pencil, it was definitely going to probably be a black acrylic background. I used this Posca on several pages either to outline the image and then use black acrylic paint or I would just use this pen exclusively to color in the entire background. I definitely recommend getting uh, Posca paint pens for that purpose. A black one and a white one. Definitely a black one. If you like doing black backgrounds, this makes doing the black background with paint so easy and so fast. This is in the 3M size. Um, and like I said, I would just outline the background and then use a paintbrush to really quickly put on black acrylic paint. Um, and on your smaller pages, you can literally just do the whole page with this pen and I did that a lot. I, I love I love black backgrounds because when I first started coloring, one of my first books was Botanicum by Maria Trolle and she had the black pages and I fell in love with that. And then I constantly was like, what would this look like with a black background? So I did that on a few of my pages this year and I don't see myself stopping next year. So this will definitely get used pretty often um, in the future as well. Next we have a few of my favorite gel pens. The gel pens I reached for the most this year was definitely Jelly Rolls. So I picked up a few, just a few of my favorite colors or types. Jelly Roll does a lot of um, different types of pens. They have their Stardust, their Metallic, um, their Souffle, their Glaze. They have all sorts of um, different variety of gel pens. The ones I reached for the most were definitely the Stardust. This red color I used all the time and obviously the clear one loved that one. It is seriously so pretty. I have to hold myself back from putting it everywhere because when I do grab it, like I remember to grab it, I'm like, I'm gonna put this all over the whole page. So um, 
And then the metallics, I pulled the gold one. It's a really interesting, like, bronzy gold, and I really like that. It's not as um, yellowy gold as some gel pens are, some gold gel pens are. So the range of um, metallics is also really nice in the set that I have. So these were definitely my most used gel pens. I have a lot of gel pens, but the Jelly Roll still reigns supreme for me. But also, I was able to pick up, let me focus this. I was able to pick up a few Sparkle Pop gel pens from my local Michaels, which is another local craft store here. Um, I was only able to find the purple and the gold, and I look every single time I'm there, and I've still only ever been able to buy the purple and the gold one. The gold one I used up in a second, um, and this purple one I use very, very sparingly because I can't find them anywhere. I know I could just buy them on on Amazon and that's something I'm definitely going to do 2021 because I think that these are even more special than the jelly rolls. Um, they have like the, the shift, I'm sure we've all heard of these. So these were definitely another fan favorite and favorite of mine in 2020. And speaking of gel pens, we have to speak about our favorite or my favorite white gel pen to use. My favorite white gel pen this year turned out to be the Jelly Roll in size 10. I don't know, I almost always reached for this one over the um, Uniball Signo. Mine, I think I just have a dud to be honest. Like, it still has a full, full barrel of paint or ink in it and it just, it never works for me. It's constantly streaking. I'm constantly having to scribble to make the ink come out and it annoys me. So I almost never use it. I think I just need to get a new one and that would probably solve the problem. But it irritates me that there's ink in it and it just won't come out. So I always end up switching to the jelly roll. So this definitely was my white gel pen, my go-to white gel pen this year for my accents. Um, even over the Posca, but in this last month in December, um, I recently figured out how to use my Posca pen and it's working like a dream. So I've been kind of using that one this past month over my gel pen. Um, I've been using the Posca pen constantly. So we'll see. I have a bunch of new gel pens to try out in 2021. I have like a ton of different, I have new paint pens. I have the Arteza gel pens. I have, um, a white alcohol marker, all sorts of things. So we'll see if the Jelly Roll still is the winner next year, but it definitely worked really great for me this year. Next we have my favorite, my one and only blender pencil, but this bad boy was a lifesaver on many occasions this year for me. The Derwent blender pencils are amazing. I see so many people using them, they're great. Um, we all use them for a reason. Uh, they work really well with Prisma colors, which is what I use them with. I don't have any other blenders. I don't have blender stumps. I've blended with anything besides this pencil. I haven't used Overless Mineral Spirits, um, blending stumps, the Karen Dash blender, all these things I've heard and I want to try, which maybe I will end up trying in 2021, and we'll see if the Derwent blender is still the best, but for me, this pencil was heavily used this year and uh, it came in handy a lot for me. Next I wanted to touch on my favorite fine liner or um, I use it as a fine liner. It's the Micron, Sakura Micron pens. I used this for all of my black lining that I did on my coloring pages, eyelashes, um, filling in back over the line art when I used colored pencils, adding in small black details to my pages. This was the pen I went for. This is pretty much, it's in the size, the pen size. Um, it's used up. I've recently bought the zero, the 0 0.5, 0 0.8, and 0 0.3, I think, um, in the Micron pen, and I'm cur currently using, but this is pretty much the pen I used exclusively all year for things like that, so I definitely recommend these. I, I picked up a set of fine liners from Hobby Lobby, though, um, and I'm excited to try those to see if they are just as good, because these are pretty expensive, so um, I'm looking forward to possibly finding an alternative next year. All right, just a few more things I wanted to share as uh, things I used a lot of this year. I used 
This is my favorite <laughs> um, eraser with my colored pencils. It's just an electric one off of Amazon. I'll have it linked below. You can recharge it with a USB, um, which I find really nice. Um, I still am on the same uh, eraser head or nib that it came with, so it does really well there. It is an electric eraser and um, it works great. The Durant one's pretty expensive, and as far as I know, this one works just as good. So if you're looking for an electric eraser, I recommend this one. I also wanted to mention my most used eraser, eraser, my most used um, pencil sharpener. This is the Tigao. I definitely need a new one, I think. I used it all year on my Prismos, my Polys. Honestly, any color pencil, I have a bunch of sharpeners, but I always reach for this one. Um, the only downside is that it doesn't hold a lot of shavings. You're constantly having to dump it out. And after, what, five months of use, I think I'm ready for a new one. I just don't see it sharpening my pencils as well as it used to, but it has a dial here and you can change how sharp the tip is going to be or how long the tip is going to be and I exclusively use it on setting two for my Prismas and on my polys. So Tigal, I definitely recommend um, and I'll have that linked below. The last thing I wanted to throw in here was the type of cardstock that I've been using all year for my PDFs. For anything I printed out, I pretty much used this uh, cardstock, which is just from Walmart. It's just the Pen and Gear brand. It's premium cardstock, um, 110 pound, 92 bright, and it's worked out pretty well for me. I'm definitely in the market for new paper. Um, like I said, this is just some cheap cardstock I picked up when I realized I wanted to kind of start working on PDFs. Um, I didn't really think about paper at all, and I'm starting to think about paper. So if you have any recommendations of your favorite paper, definitely let me know. Um, because I want something a little a little more universal, a little bit better for colored pencils, something better for watercolor, something better for all sorts of mediums. Um, but yeah, this one's worked out pretty good for me. I've been happy with the PDFs that I have done, which has been very few. I think I've only done like two or three this year, so not a lot, but I do, um, I do want to figure out like a little bit of a nicer paper for maybe better results. But anyways, that is, that is my most used products, my most used art supplies of 2020. Thank you so much for an amazing year, you guys. This most likely will be my final video of the year. It's been an honestly just an amazing, amazing time. It's been a joy to make videos and hang out with you guys and I have met so many amazing colorists on YouTube and people who just have made me so happy and watching your guys' videos is <laughs> I've been doing that for so long. I feel like I've been watching colorists and adult coloring videos for like two years now so to finally be a part of that community is so cool and I just appreciate all of the love and support on my videos and I'm really excited for 2021 to see how we continue to grow as a community and how I continue to grow as a colorist because I feel like I'm just getting started. So thank you so, 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 so much. I cannot say thank you enough for everything this year. I hope that 2021 is amazing for all of us and it brings nothing but good things for all of us. And yeah, just thank you so much. And honestly, down below, let me know what your most used products were. Let me know what your favorite gel pen was, what your favorite colored pencil was. I'd love to talk to you guys about coloring supplies because that's always fun. So Leave me a comment down below, so subscribe if you're not already, give this video a huge thumbs up, and I will see you guys next year.